Investment advisory services are offered through Fusion Capital Management, an SEC-registered investment advisor. The firm only transacts business in states where it is properly registered or is excluded or exempted from registration requirements. SEC registration is not an endorsement of the firm by the commission and does not mean that the advisor has attained a specific level of skill or ability. Welcome to Navigating Retirement with Rick Durkee. And welcome back to the mini series brought to you by the Coastal Financial Planning Group on reducing taxes in retirement. Looking for the best opportunities to pay the least amount in taxes over your financial and retirement lifetime. The guide on our trip is Rick Durkee, president and founder of the Coastal Financial Planning Group. Rick, we've outlined so far on the mini series that we need to take a proactive look at taxes. We need a written plan for how to handle them because they're probably our largest known expense in retirement. Is it time to rethink taxes? Yeah, it is time to rethink taxes. We definitely have to look at the fact that we have moved into retirement and the tax environment is going to be different. And who has control over how we are going to pay taxes? Well, we should, right? But the government and Congress does with the IRS as to those tax deferred accounts we mentioned in our last segment of the series of how we reduce taxes in retirement. But now we need to rethink how taxes are going to be handled after our working career. We think about it a lot during our working career and we want to save money in taxes wherever we can. We turn in our tax returns. We ask our tax professional, hey, how can you reduce my taxes? But now what we need to do is that proactive planning that we mentioned in our last portion of the series and look forward. Look forward throughout the remainder of our lives and beyond because we know that we will, if we do effective tax planning and we have a written income plan, that we will have for a portion of our estate that we will pass on in our legacy. And we want to make sure that also passes through in the most tax efficient ways possible. Maximize our income during retirement years, minimize taxes. That's always the focus at the Coastal Financial Planning Group for our clients and our prospective clients. Rick, the baby boomer generation really began the 401k experiment in the early to mid 80s. And they were told that taxes would be lower into the future. Mm -hmm. But they saved throughout the 80s and 90s and even the early 2000s. Here we are in 2020. Taxes have come down significantly. But for those baby boomers who are now entering into and making the transition to retirement, they still have half a lifetime to now live off of the assets that they've saved and accumulated. Looking for every opportunity to control our tax bill and save as much as possible, we really need to plan proactively for all of the future years, not just what we're earning this year. That experiment, 401ks, you know, drove the market up during the 80s. Uh, during the 90s, we saw the largest bull run in the market's history as people invested in their 401ks into the market through mutual fund type investing. Now we've built all those deferred tax deferred accounts up and the government was just sitting there wringing their hands the whole time. Yeah, we'll give them tax deferred money uh, opportunities here and, and we know we'll tax them down the road and those accounts will be bigger, right? Because compounded without taxation, we'll have more money. But come to the rescue here, all of a sudden we have an environment where we have an administration that reduced our taxes for us now and gave us a great opportunity through paying taxes now in a low tax rate environment and spending tax favored dollars later on in retirement. So we need to rethink about how we look at taxes and say, this may be a great time to pay taxes and a, actually an advantageous time to pay taxes on those tax deferred accounts. And then later on, we'll enjoy the benefit of tax free dollars as we go forward. Well, Rick Durkee and his team at the Coastal Financial Planning Group look for each and every opportunity and strategy available to help their clients control and reduce their ultimate tax liability. There are advantages to taking a look proactively at taxes, and we'll continue this conversation in the next edition of the mini-series on reducing your taxes in retirement. And in fact, we'll talk about that tax-deferred account your IRA or 401k, and actually how that can produce a double or triple whammy and a compounding effect. In fact, increasing your taxation into and through retirement, things you need to be aware of. So stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. Watch the next edition of the mini series on reducing your taxes in retirement 
Learn more about the double and triple whammy compounding effect of tax deferral. Catch more of Rick Durkee and Navigating Retirement by visiting cfpgroup.biz. While we believe the information in this broadcast is reliable, we cannot guarantee its accuracy. Opinions expressed are subject to change without notice and are not intended as investment advice or solicitation for the purchase or sale of any security. Please consult your financial professional before making any investment decisions. Investment advisory services are offered through Fusion Capital Management, an SEC-registered investment advisor. SEC registration is not an endorsement of the firm by the commission and does not mean that the advisor has attained a specific level of skill or ability. Investment in securities or the market involves a potential risk for loss of principal. Trading, therefore, may not be suitable for all listeners. Annuity guarantees are based only on the financial strength and claims paying ability of the issuing company. Withdrawals of growth from annuities may be taxable as ordinary income in the year it is taken. Individuals should review contracts for specific details of the product's features and costs. Early withdrawals may subject the owner to penalties, fees, or taxes. Fiduciary duty extends solely to investment advisory advice and does not extend to other activities such as insurance or broker-dealer services. Advisory clients are charged a fee for assets under management, while insurance products pay a commission which may result in a conflict of interest regarding compensation.